Hey guys, so in this video, we can discuss about is it actually installing the car body kit or aero kit able to help the car performance other than just upgrading the car outlooks. I'm the fan of the car outlooks. I love car that looks good and with a good body kit, with a good spot rims and low words. So, I'm gonna give a real example, especially on my Toyota Vios. I bought my Toyota Vios 8 years ago, it's a basic J-Spec, so the basic J-Spec Toyota Vios don't have air kits, don't have sport rims, and don't have uh, good sound systems, don't have uh, good suspension spots, suspension settings. And throughout the times, as times goes on, I started to upgrade it a little bit, and I can see the differences. So let's talk about the car body kits first. So actually, when you can see the Toyota J-Spec wheels, it looks so bulk and I mean, it looks dull as well. So that's why I decided to improve it with the body kit of GT Straits. And I don't like the GT Straits spoiler because it looks small. So I just want to do something that looks a little bit sportier, just like TRD. That's where I decided to get a TRD spoiler. So after I put the arrow kits and the spoiler, I can feel the differences. I mean, when I'm driving on the highways, when I'm driving J Spec Toyota Vios on the highway without any body kit or sport rims, the car actually feels like it's a little bit of floating after I hit it 100 km an hour. And after I installed the body kit and arrow kits, I can feel that the car is slightly a little bit heavier during I'm crossing on the highway. But in returns, it seems like the car is slightly more stable and I have more confidence to drive faster on highway. So this is actually based on personal experience. After I installed the body kits, especially with the spoiler, it actually helps a little bit on in terms of giving me a better stability during driving at a faster speed. So, installing aero kits actually does help to make the car definitely looks good, but it also helps a little bit on stability as well. And in terms of appearance, definitely the body kit makes the car look sportier and also looks lower down because the body kit actually Add up the appearance, make it look lowered. In fact, the body case is lowered a little bit compared to normal vehicles if you're not putting any body kits. And what about sport wheels and wheels? The J Spec Toyota wheels come with the 40 inch steel wheels with 165 width tires. So, that, that times the tire is really small. And when cruising on the highway, it's really, really giving me the feeling of floating and unstable after like, cruising above 100 km an hour. That time, the steering is relatively very light as well when I'm driving at a high speed, which actually is good when you want to do a parking, but not really helpful if you want to drive at a fast speed because light brake steering actually will give you instabilities. Uh, when you're driving at high speed. When you drive at high speed, you want to be stable, you want to be solid. And it, I decided to upgrade my Toyota Vios with the RD Sport Rims, 15 inch with 185 width of tires. And things started change dramatically. I can sense that the car actually improved in terms of stability very well. I can actually cruise at 120 km an hour before I started to feel that the car is unstable. So that in terms of changing bigger tires, better rims do help improve the car performance in terms of handling during the high speed. And I can feel that my steering no longer so be so shaky and light as usual as well. Well it's bad if you want to do a parking especially side parking when you have to twist a lot but then in terms of driving speed, especially high speed above 100 km hours, solid steering 
be less shaky, give you a better driving experience. So, if you say that improving aero by putting up aero kits does really help in terms of a little bit of performance, especially in the handling and changing spot will definitely help improve the impacts on the handling itself. We know that by upgrading bigger view, spot rims and add up aero kits able to help your car perform better, especially on the highway and provide better aerodynamics and looks cool as well. But there's one question that everyone always concerned about for adding all these things, these wigs, bigger view will increase the fuel consumption of the car? Unfortunately, the answer is yes. Actually, I do realize that when I actually change my sport rims, okay, I change my steel rims from 40 inch to become 50 inch TRD wheel, even though the TRD sport wheels is lighter by 10% of the weight of the steel wheels, but because the tire is improved from 165 mm width to 185 mm width. So this gives me the stability of the car during the high speed, add up weight to my steerings, but it also increase my fuel consumption a little bit. So I would say that it's probably between 3 to 5 percent. Yeah, so I mean it's a give and takes, but that that little bit of uh, extra weight is definitely able to help you to have a better stability on the cars but with the sacrifice a little bit of fuel consumption well I don't mind because the car still looks really good and I love to drive my cars every single day